dance techniques, and, and it's pertaining to the wrist lock. So we know as in Cody Jiu Jitsu, when somebody puts us in a lock, you're using his strong points against my weakness, okay? So how do I counter this? Because he's already got me off balance. Uh, well, this technique already starts from the time he initiates it. So what I want to do, since he's creating a base, he's got two-way motion, I want to be ahead of him or create an obstruction. So if he's going for a, a lock, I want to create that, that lock and an obstruction and create my own base here. So that my base is countering his strong point. So his strong point is moving this way. To counter that, I'm gonna to have to obstruct it and then go with a counter with a bent elbow this way, okay? We'll do that again. So from a, from a wrist, a regular wrist lock, I can create an obstruction. I can also move my feet so I can get a better base and turn and do a bent elbow or a knee kill in, in Aikido. Uh, you say, what's the counter for a bent double? So if, I, if I'm grabbing Paul and he's gonna, he's gonna lock and use a two-way motion this way going this way, what do I have to do? Remember, I have to create an obstruction or be ahead of him. So right when he turns over this way, I want to counter, okay? And this alone, you want to create a, a good base or foundation. I just don't want to go this way because go ahead and do that motion. I can't, I can't pull up. But if I move my feet underneath me, so if he's going down and I create an obstruction, I get my feet up, now I can counter him by doing a, uh, an arm lock that way. A counter for, let's say, the, the hammer lock, we may have to go this way, right? So a hammer lock, he's going to, this, his strong points is from here. My weakness is, is, is my, my wrist is behind my body already. Um, when he goes into this, this movement, what I want to do is, what his intention is to go to the back, okay? Now I can't count. So what I want to do from this point is right before he gets to my back, I want to step in and brace. This is my foundation. From there, I can use my footwork to counter, okay? So that's not a reversal, that's more of a, of a counter. So if he's going for a hammer lock, I want to brace my, my arm here and then go into an entry move and let it to the foot sweep. Okay? So those are the two counters, uh, or three counters. The bent elbow, remember the strong, his strong point is rotating it forward. This, this, this arm and hand is moving forward. This hand, of course, controls the elbow from lifting to alleviate that pressure. What uh, Paul was, was coming up with, I kind of have the same motion, but, but basically to stop or create that obstruction, right? From this point, when you push down and you hook up this way, you can do a vertical lock. And if you can swing the camera here, once, once, once you get the, uh, the lock and I'm pushing down, this is already creating a thumb lock, so he cannot escape. From that point, I'm gonna come around and do a vertical lock this way. Can you guys see that? So, so from that point again, he's doing a bent elbow, my counter would be push, right? And it's gonna come up. And that's creating already almost a vertical lock, but he's got a thumb lock here. I'm gonna come around and do a vertical this way. Now from here I can do a takedown, okay? Uh, and that's it, I give credit to that to Paul. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and binge watch on the other videos.